How's it going everyone? Dry FIFA here. Welcome back to episode number 29 of my Manchester United career mood on FIFA 15 season 2. So guys, we're picking up where we left off in the last episode facing off against Galatasaray at home at Old Trafford and it is the second leg of the Champions League uh, round. Now, the interesting thing is that they can definitely make it through if we slip up so we can't have that happen at home. Alright guys, so we're at Old Trafford facing off against Galatasaray. Will they be up for this one? Is of course to be seen. I'm not quite sure if they're going to be having any fire in, of course, their engine. But nevertheless, we need to definitely get this taken care of. We're in a 16, we need to make it to the quarterfinals. And we need to go ahead and finish this off, especially playing at home. We need to win this game. Alright guys, so we're going to 4-2-3-1 formation. Um, we have, of course, Rooney up front, in behind Di Maria, Nani, and of course, Marco Royce on the wings with Snadlin and of course, Paul Pogba in midfield, um, Jones and so forth, the regular, of course, in the back line, and of course, David De Gea in goal. So, a uh, pretty strong midfield in my opinion, so it should definitely be enough to take care of Galatasaray, I think. Um, but we know they're going the same formation, and I think who we need to watch out for is definitely going to be uh, Snyder, he's just a beast. All right, play it. There we go. Get on to man. Don't let. Okay. Shaw has been absolutely outstanding. Go for it. Ah, oh, what a save! All right, watch, watch. Oh my God, he saved it. It was kind of straight had him too as well. Nani probably should have done a little better there, but he definitely was going for the near post there, as you can see. Just too much on that one. All right, nice. I think he was on. Yeah, there we go. Right, go for it. Ah, oh, he saved that. Good reaction there from the keeper. Man, we're absolutely all over them right now. Um, they they haven't really been threatening at all, which is really surprising because in the first leg they definitely put a stamp down, man. Um, they definitely did, and they uh, it was an odd fought, you know, four two victory for us. So, not quite sure what's going on right now. All right, hit it. Ooh, took a deflection. Keeper, I think probably would have had it. Uh, but I took a deflection and go out off, off one of the players. So we get a second bite of the cookie. Uh, let's see. Uh, he just moved. So let's go for a near post here. Uh, outside the box. Right. Uh, one time. Oh, and it's another save. Oh, it's a penalty. What happened? I did not see what happened. So I can't say if it was a penalty or not. I'm not quite sure who got fouled. Oh, it was Nani. That is not a penalty in my opinion because the keeper was already on the ground. Nani kind of tripped up over him. Uh, that's a tough one, to be honest. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think that was a penalty? I don't think it was, uh, but that's just my opinion. I don't think it was. Let me know if you think it is. I'm going to go down the middle a little bit. Oh, the ball curled. <laughs> we almost, almost didn't even get that one in. He was so close to getting palming that one away too as well. A bit of luck there, to be honest. Now, I was trying to go for the middle, but it kind of curled a little bit. Not quite sure why that did. Because I just tried to hit it down the middle. I didn't put that much power in it either, as you can see there. Not a lot of power, so I'm surprised he didn't get a touch. So maybe, yeah, as you can see, he was trying to, but he was already falling. You know, I guess, he, well, it's a good thing we didn't put that much power in the ball. If we did, you probably would have got a hold of it. The ball was just going too slow when he was falling to the ground too fast. But, hey, it's a goal. And it's Manchester United to make it. They really haven't been threatening us too much, man. All right, come on, get this out, get this out. Oh, what a save. I believe that's the first attempt they've had on goal. Uh, they have a few more cha choices, um, you know, chances, but it really hasn't really come out to anything. Uh, I don't even think they had anything on target apart from that one that they had just saved. Look at the run there. What a through pass there. Nani. Right. Go for it. Oh. Put it in. Put it in. What? What is going on, man? How did he not hit it in? And who was that? Was that Rooney? That should have been a goal, man. Alright, play it wide. There we go. Alright, come on, guys. Run, man. Everyone moving too slow. Alright. There we go. Go for it. Oh, it's a block. He's going to clear it out. Oh. 
Uh, oh, there we go. He played it right to my other player. All right, watch your run there. Wait for him to run. There we go. All right. Nice. One time. Ooh, what a save, man. Definitely going into that top corner there. Uh, the keeper is near post, and he made a save. And look like Rooney is injured as well. And we're finally able to make our substitution in the 90th minute, which is absolutely ridiculous. That's how much this bot has been just going. And that's why I really picked up an injury because I was trying to make the change, man. Which is really crazy, actually. But the ball just hadn't went out. We just keep going back and forth. And it just hadn't went out. It just finally went out from that save. Ah. All right. Play it there. All right, go for it. Can we curl it in? Yeah. <laughs> what a goal, man. Nani finally got his goal. Uh, he's had so many opportunities. The keeper been so good. Uh, and he finally beat him. Look at that. Kind of using the defender there to definitely get that one in. As you can see there, kind of uh, blindsiding the keeper there. The keeper probably seen that one too late. As you can see there, out of the reach. What a perfectly hit ball. Look at that. Look at the spin on the ball. The curl. Everything is absolutely perfect. Maybe the keeper could have reached it a little bit. But I think he just saw it a little bit too late because of the defender pretty much blindsiding him, uh, blocking his view. So I think uh, that's a really good goal from Nani there, uh, hitting it one time. And of course, sparing no man there. Um, I don't think the keeper is going to complain too much about that one. That was a well-hit ball there. And that is it, guys. That is absolutely it. We take this one at home 2-0. That means we defeat them 6-2 in aggregate. Which is really good, actually. Um, we just came home and did the job, <laughs> which is really good. So I'm happy with this result, keeping a clean sheet too as well. They didn't threaten that much. It's a good win. All right, guys. So as you can see from the stats, two shots to them, one on target. We had 16, 14 on target, 58% of the ball possession. And of course, you can see our shot accuracy and pass accuracy pretty well in the 80s as well uh, compared to theirs. Uh, it just shows you how well we were playing in this game. Completely dominated this game, to be honest. Uh, I was definitely nothing close to what they did in the first leg and how difficult they made it for us. And of course, you can see Luke Shaw again picking up another man of the match. He's definitely must be the player of the year, to be honest, for Manchester United. He's been absolutely outstanding so far this season. All right, guys, so we have another huge game at the Etihad as well. And this is against, of course, our noisy neighbors, Manchester City. Now, this is going to be an interesting one because you can see they're in third position. We're, of course, on 72 points in first. We need to definitely beat them. All right, let's see what they're working with. So they're going to four, a 4-4-2 four, four, formation, uh, which is really interesting. Aguero starts as well. Jeez, man, that guy is going to be an handful. Didn't have to keep behind him. Same for Silver as well. Navas, the speedy devil, if you ask me. So a lot of these players we need to keep an eye on. They're pretty quick and fast. Uh, but we're going with the same formation, not changing too much. Um, of course, a 4 2 3 1 formation. And uh, keeping it a little bit tight in midfield. We decided to bring in Snadlin and, of course, uh, Luis Gustavo. Nice. Go for it. Ah, that is way too close. <laughs> way too close there. We all know these keepers are so OP, man. You gotta try and hit it away from them. Ah, uh, come on. Look at the run. All right. Cut it back. All right. Rooney. Oh, what a save. Ah, these keepers are too OP, man. What is going on with them, man? All right, come on, guys. I know we're playing a little defensive, but you guys got to move up, man. Nice. Nice one there. Oh, go for it. Oh, it's another save. These keepers, man. All right, guys. So that is it for, of course, the first half. As you can see, six shots for six on target. They have absolutely nothing. Almost 60%. Position two as well, and look at that, guys. Our shot accuracy is absolutely crazy. We're completely dominating this game, and hopefully, we can do so in the second half. We need some goals, so we need to be a little more clinical. Let's go. Morgan Schneiderlin, opportunity to cross it now. Nice. Ah, uh, is it a foul? Yeah, <laughs> we got a penalty. It's another penalty. A back-to-back -back penalties. Are you kidding me? I don't think uh, out of all the season, out of all. 
all of the fouls that we have had last season or all of the games we were played, I don't think I've had this much penalties or even ever had. I don't think I can remember ever having period of playing FIFA having back to back penalties, which is really surprising. So um, <laughs> maybe luck is definitely on my side. And we're going to go down the middle again this time around. I, it always works for me. So it's just me, guys. Uh, but I'm going to go down the middle and see what happens. And there we go. It's into the back of the net. Um, maybe maybe you could have got a foot to that one. Not quite sure it was over his foot in my opinion. I guess we'll see again from the replay. And Rooney again from the spot. Uh, he's getting his goals, which is always good to see. Um, he's definitely been pretty good this season too as well. Um, I, I, it's kind of hard to compare him and Chikorito because Chikorito is a, a whole, you know, all around just an out and out striker. I mean, he just scores goals. That's what he's there for. He's you know he's definitely quicker than Rooney. Uh, Rooney's up there in age, but man, Rooney definitely have, um, you know, he just have everything, man. He can play everywhere. He's just so good. All right, come on, guys. Can't concede a goal. We need to kill this game off. We need another goal. Ah, oh, don't go out. Took a deflection. There we go. All right, let's see if we can go on a quick counter. Can we? All right, cut it back. Look at the run there. Nice. All right, keep running. There we go. All right, come on, Royce. Cut it back. All right, let's see if we can go for it from here. Can it go in? Oh, my God. <laughs> and it actually went in in the 68-minute marker, Royce. And what a goal from marker, Royce. Uh, he hasn't scored one like that in a while, so I'm really happy for him. Hopefully, that would definitely boost his confidence. Uh, he's been pretty good. He's been scoring some good goals, to be honest, but he just hasn't scored a curl like that. And we know he's pretty good when it comes to finish shot and long ranger as well. And look at that. Now, that's an absolute ridiculous goal. Look at the curl and the bend on that ball. The height, it just falls down right in time. Goes into that far corner right over the keeper. No chance for the keeper there at all whatsoever. I don't care who is your goalkeeper. He's not saving that one. What a goal for Marco Rice. Outstanding. And that is it, guys. We managed to hold on for the 2-0 win. Beating Manchester City, our noisy neighbors, on their own turf, of course, with a clean sheet. Can you believe that? Ah, Manchester City is really was really disappointed. They didn't offer that much, which is really surprising. But, hey, it's a win. All right, guys, so as you can see from what I stated before, nine shots, nine on target, 56% of the ball. Look at their shot accuracy, 100%. Pass accuracy, 86%. There's a 77, nothing on target for them. But look at that, guys, three attempts for them, nothing on target. That's how dominating we were in this game. And, of course, Wayne, when you pick another one off the match, he was definitely very, very good. Uh, you know, not just because he got the goal from, of course, the penalty, but he was just really all over the place, setting up plays. He's been really good. And had his chances as well. All right, guys, so we have a huge game coming up in Champions League. We're facing off against Juventus. It's at home, so we cannot concede any goals. That's going to be a big one. Stay tuned for that. But nevertheless, that's the end of this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here and want to see more. And, of course, guys, as always, I am your host, Jirai FIFA. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace.